Today we'll demonstrate a changeover procedure when moving between one B-side blend and another B-side blend of spray polyurethane foam. It's particularly important when moving between OCX and other systems. Begin blending material number two if that material is an open cell material requiring blending. Remove the transfer pump from barrel number one. Set the transfer pump onto a clean pile of rags or into a clean bucket. Wipe down the transfer pump thoroughly. After wiping down the outside of the transfer pump thoroughly, invert the transfer pump so as to drain the upper fluid section. Move the transfer pump into a bucket of water. Flush out the transfer pump, transfer hose, and Y strainer area of the machine by flushing water through the system and out the recirculation line or the blue valve on the reactor. After moving water through the transfer pump, Y strainer assembly, and pressure relief valve of the machine, that material can be ran back into barrel number one until which time water begins to come through the pressure relief line. Immediately upon seeing water come through the pressure relief line, discontinue running into barrel number one and run two to three cups of water into your discard or waste bucket. We now need to empty material number one from your line set or hose. Uncouple the gun from the hose. Open the B-side fluid shutoff valve over drum number one and run the material from the hose back into that drum until which time you see water begin to come through. Immediately upon seeing water come through the hose or line set, discontinue running that material back into drum number one and instead begin running one to two gallons into your discard or waste bucket. As the water going into the discard or waste bucket through the line set becomes clear, you may now begin circulating that water out of the bucket from which you are drawing. After flushing thoroughly by drawing out of the bucket of water and flushing back into the bucket of water for two to three minutes, you're now ready to move the transfer pump into material number two. Again, material number two, if it is Appendix X open cell, you've been mixing this entire time. Wipe down the pump. Place the transfer pump into drum number two. We will now need to flush the water from the hose or line set. Start by opening the pressure relief valve and push material number two through the transfer pump, Y strainer, and pressure relief assembly. You may push back into your discard or waste bucket of water at this time. Immediately upon seeing the B-side fluid come through, discontinue running into the discard bucket. Now you need to empty the water from the line set. This is done by placing the line set over your discard or waste bucket, opening the B-side fluid shutoff valve on your line set or hose, and pushing out the water with the B-side system until which time the B-side comes through. Immediately upon seeing the B-side fluid come through, run an additional one to two cups, and then begin circulating that B-side fluid back into the drum from which you are drawing. Caution should be taken that if you're running a closed cell system, recirculation may result in frothing. When transferring between B-side systems, flushing with water between those two systems can ensure that no cross-contamination will occur. In addition, introducing a water flush can minimize chemical waste and reduce the cost of changeover. For additional tips and tricks, contact your JM Field Technical Representative or visit JM.com.